In this one, I'm gonna make a new change to our model without deleting the database. So, or the migrations for that matter. So that means that we want to actually know a little bit more about what's going on with both of those things. So when we run make migrations and migrate, it syncs the database with our model. But if we add a field to our model, the database doesn't know about that field. So we have to make sure it knows and make migrations and migrate often allows that to happen. But it also introduces a whole set of like question marks, like the field that is being added into the database. What about all of the previous things were that were in that database? So let's, let's see what I mean, right? So if I jump into the admin, I see that I have these four fields here, right? But if in my models, I decided to say featured field, right? And I wanted to use, let's say models.boolean field, okay? So I, I'm now trying to add this Boolean field, but this particular object, this saved object, has no idea about this field, right? All future ones might, but this particular one doesn't. So if I went ahead and saved this and went to python manage.py make migrations, right? So you do that by default, you get this error. It says a non-nullable field. Um, I did mention that I would say what these things meant. That's what this is, right? So if I said null equals to true here, this error would not have happened because it would have said all of those old values, just leave them empty in the database. They can be empty, that's fine, no worries. But I don't wanna do that. Instead, what I wanna do is I actually want a value for those old items in the database. It could be one item, it could be 10,000. Django actually doesn't know how many items that are in the database that haven't been set yet. Again, it could be zero items. Now, the, what Django is going off of is this migrations folder here. It's going off of this initial value. Notice this initial one right here. It's checking against what's in here for this model. It's saying, hey, the new field that you're adding, this new field right here, isn't in this initial description. It's being added to it. So we're gonna assume that the database needs to know about what's happening there. So we need to tell the database what default things we should do. Now, you can do, the, there's several actions you can do here. Right in the code, you could say null equals to true, or you could set a default. Or you could do both, right? So you could have a default in there, right? So null equals a true or default value. In this case, since it's a Boolean field, which means either true or false, you could say default equals to true. So you could absolutely hard write, write those in the code or you get this error and you can provide a one-off default for all of the previous things that were in there. And I'm gonna say one and literally say true, right? So this means that everything that's in the database, it's gonna go through all of them that's already currently in the database and it's gonna save those things as having a field of featured with the value of true as opposed to false. I hit true, there we go. Now that make migrations, what that ended up doing is it developed a file for us, a migrations file, and this is it right here. The database still doesn't actually know about anything, right? It doesn't know about this field still. still. Um, because we didn't run migrate. So I can actually come back into my Django project and I get this thing, no such column equals to that, right? So that's an error that you might see quite often. I know you will actually, because people forget about this. So we wanna run python manage.py migrate because we always run make migrations and then migrate. And then there we go. Now we have a change actually made. And as we see, all of our old objects that are stored in the database have featured as true all of the new ones, there is no default in there. Cool, so that's awesome. What that also means is then in my models, this summary, what if I wanted that to not be required anymore? Well, I can say blank equals to true, but let's go ahead and say null equals to false and see what happens here. What did I do? I made changes to the models, so what do I have to do? I have to run python manage.py make migrations and then python manage.py migrate. Cool. So now that I've got that, I come back in here, I refresh, summary is no longer bold, and I can now leave it empty in the database. 
So if I change blank equals to false, save it, again, run, make migrations, and again, migrate. I can go back in here and refresh, and notice now it says that it's bold, so if I hit save and continue, it'll give me this field is required. So all this is doing is blank has to do with how the field is rendered, null has to do with the database. So if the blank is false, meaning that it's required, then it will render as required. That has nothing to do with the database as we see with these two things here. But null being true or false means that the database can be null or empty in the database. Um, cool, so that is changing some items in the model. Um, this used to be very, very hard. And even if you feel like it's a little challenging, doing this several times, breaking it, deleting the migrations fold, uh, the migrations uh, in here already, deleting the database, running all of that stuff all over again, doing that several times will really get you comfortable with models. I promise you it will. And then try to explain it to somebody. Try to explain it to a friend, make a video, try to explain all of the things that I just did, go back and reference them, read the docs, whatever you need to do to really better understand how this basic stuff of models works. So there's definitely more stuff we can do in models, but I'm gonna kind of leave it as is. Um, there's other things that Django does really well that we wanna start talking about, um, and that has to do with views and URLs. So make sure you subscribe to get everything. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.